गुड आफ्टरनून श्रीमती कृष्णा तीर्थ मिनिस्टर फॉर वीमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट श्री प्रेम नारायण सेक्रेट सेक्रेटरी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ वीमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट डिस्टिंग्विस्ट अवार्ड विनर्स सीनियर ऑफिसर्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन इट गिव्स मी immense pleasure to join you in the celebration of international women's day i take this opportunity to extend warm greetings to women in all parts of our country i thank them for their invaluable contribution in the making of our great nation i am happy that on this occasion we are recognizing the extraordinary services of the outstanding women who have been conferred the stri shakti awards we are paying tribute not only to them but to all women who have worked and contributed directly or indirectly to social development in our country I am particularly happy that Rani Lakshmi Bai Award has been given to the spirit of Nirbhaya and was received by family of the brave heart for Delhi, her mother. Nirbhaya, as she is now known, was a brave and courageous girl who fought till the very last. minute of her minute for her dignity and her life she is a true hero and symbol symbolizes the best in indian youth and women her sad demise should not be in vain we must do everything possible to ensure that such an incident never happens again i will also like to felicitate and express my deep appreciation to other awardees of sri shakti puraskar namely mrs pranita talukdar of assam ms sonika agarwal of delhi shrimati gurumma h shankina of karnataka ms samanna tk of kerala and shrimati Olga Dimelo of Maharashtra for their invaluable contributions to the empowerment of women on this international women's day let us resolve to redouble efforts for the protection of women and their welfare we must strive to ensure that women feel safe and secure at all times in our country we must inculcate in every member of our society the highest of respect for women we as a society must work towards changing negative perceptions about women women should be provided a safe secure congenial environment in which their talents can flower and they can contribute their full share in the building of our nation our history traditions religions and cultural values as well as the constitution demand nothing less women achievers have continuously left the footprints on the sands of time in our country from the days of our freedom struggle and especially today an impressive number of women have inspired many others by their achievements born of their courage and determination to succeed rural women have scripted their success stories by participating in panchayat elections for exceeding far exceeding their 33% quota they have taken advantage of microfinance initiatives 
implemented in self-help groups, it is heartening to see that there has been an upward trend in control and management and in the collective decision-making in these groups. India will also have its first bank dedicated only to women. Ladies and gentlemen, empowerment of women must be regarded as not only an element of our efforts towards gender equality, but also a critical step for stimulating their full participation in nation building. The nation is celebrating 150th birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda was of the view that best barometer of the progress of a nation is the treatment of its women. He said, and I quote, all nations have attained greatness by paying proper respect to women. That country and the nation which do not respect women have never become great nor will ever be in future." Unquote. I call upon all citizens of India to preserve in their respective spheres for the comprehensive implementation in letter and spirit of the constitutional rights guaranteed to every woman in India. I compliment all the award winners for the excellent work done by them and the Ministry of Women and Child Development for organizing this event. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.